Alright, so what we have here is a probe. In clinic, you'll be using primarily two types of probes. The Williams probe and the PCP UNC12, such as this probe right here. The Williams probe has markings at 1, 2, and 3 millimeters. It skips 4, there's a marking at 5, it skips 6, and then there's markings at 7, 8, 9, and 10. The PCP UNC12, I know it's kind of hard to see, but it has markings at 1, 2, 3 millimeters. There's a dark band between 4 and 5. There's markings at 6, 7, and 8. There's another dark band between 9 and 10. And then there's markings at 11 and 12. In clinic, you'll be using the probe nine different ways. The first is to measure extra and intraoral lesions. Second is to measure overjet and overbite. The third is to measure the actual pocket depth. The fourth is to assess for BOP, otherwise known as bleeding upon probing. So if we probe the tooth and there's blood, we would say that you know, hypothetically, number 30 has BOP. The fifth use of the probe is to measure the clinical attachment level. The sixth is to measure the zone of attachment. The seventh is to detect frication involvement. Eight is to assess mobility of teeth. And the final use of the probe is to measure gingival consistency. So we place the probe against the gingiva, push, and as we release, we'd look at the gingiva and we'd make note of hypothetically, oh, this gingiva is spongy or inflamed or red and bulbous, or the gingiva is firm and resilient to touch. So those are the nine uses of the probe. Now we will see it used clinically. So probing of anterior teeth, you're going to begin towards your line angle. The probe should be angled so that it gets around the height of contour of the tooth. And that the tip or the toe one third of the probe stays in contact with the tooth, you're going to angle underneath the contact area, directing the probe into the coal. Walking the probe out and shifting on the fulcrum to make sure that the probe tip stays adapted to the tooth as you move from mesial to distal surfaces, angling under the contact into the coal area. The stroke should be a sh short walking stroke, moving along the junctional epithelium.
The probe should be angled so that it reaches to the midline of the proximal surface and is angled under the contact. And the working end of the probe should remain in contact with the two adjacent teeth. This would be over angulation of the probe, under angulation of the probe. So the probe should be directed so that it reaches the midline of the tooth below the contact area into the coal. Lingual surfaces can be accessed by pivoting on the fulcrum to maintain adaptation of the probe around the tooth. Buckal surfaces Adaptation can be maintained by standing and lying on the fulcrum.